The latest war crimes verdict in Bangladesh is another blow to the country's opposition. These are all his books, you see. All these books are written by him. At almost 91, Professor Ghulam Azam is a former head of the conservative religious party Jamati Islami, now part of the opposition alliance. Along with other senior Jamaat figures, he'd been accused of crimes against humanity during the 1971 War of Independence. Charges his wife and son say were politically motivated. And they have no evidence. They have no evidence whatsoever. Just mere political statement in support of United Pakistan does not make you a war criminal. It's believed that in the war 42 years ago, pro-Pakistan groups colluded with Pakistani forces against the Bangladeshi revolutionaries. A number of death sentences have already been handed down for crimes including rape and genocide during nine months of conflict. Ghulam Azam's family insist his support for Pakistan was no more than political. But some did go further, according to one prominent student activist jailed under martial law at the time. Suspicion is very strong that these elements might be involved because Pakistani army could not directly do it at that time. They were engaged in facing the Indian army, you see. So these are the civilian elements mm, who were, you know, supporting the Pakistani rule. The numbers are in dispute. Some say as many as three million people were killed. Others suggest far fewer. But what is not in doubt is that war crimes were committed. The question is whether justice is being done here. The government under Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina describes the trials as an effort to punish those accountable. But critics suggest Hasina is using the process for political effect. There are claims that with an election coming up, the government is trying to undermine the opposition. Also, that the locally constituted war crimes tribunals don't meet international standards. But it is scenes like these violent protests following war crimes verdicts delivered earlier this year that will determine as much as anything whether long-awaited judgments do help heal old wounds or open new and dangerous divisions instead. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Dakar, Bangladesh.